Australia's Securities and Investments Commission ASIC said that it is taking action to protect consumers in the ICO space in a press release published today, May 1. The regulator says it will focus on investigating deceptive or unlicensed conduct from ICOs. According to the press release, on April 19, Australia's Competition and Consumer Commission ACCC, delegated powers to ASIC to take action under the Australian Consumer Law relating to crypto assets. This allows ASIC to intercede where it judges that an ICO is misleading investors or else engaging in potentially unlicensed conduct. Even where the ICO in question does not involve a financial product, part of the press release explains that ASIC will issue inquiries to suspect ICOs. ASIC is now issuing inquiries to ICO issuers and their advisors as a result of our inquiries. Some issuers have halted their ICO or have indicated the ICO structure will be modified. The press release refers to ASIC's recently updated information sheet on ICOs and cryptocurrencies. The document provides guidance for entities considering running an ICO and potentially brings them under Australia's 2001 Corporations Act depending on the type of token being offered. The press release mentions a recent example in which it interceded to protect investors after it identified fundamental concerns with a non-specified ICO's structure. The status of its offerer in the misleading disclosure in its white paper. The ICO in question was further judged to be an unregulated managed investment scheme, which would have breached the Corporations Act and potentially have led to serious penalties. Had it been allowed to proceed last week, as a commissioner, John Price delivered a speech in which he said that the securities regulator is in the process of clarifying a broad framework for ICOs and cryptocurrencies across taxation, anti-money laundering, payment systems and financial services. ASIC's position on ICOs closely aligns with that of the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, in the U.S. Speaking on CNBC on April 30, SEC Commissioner Robert Jackson highlighted American consumer protection, remarking that the ICO market as it currently stands is a troubling example of an unregulated securities market. Thank you for listen to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.